This is Ian, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. Today, I'm going to show you five principles for organizing your Google Drive files and folders. If this video helps you out, please take a moment to like it and follow me, and let's get started. This is my personal Google Drive account, and I recently received an email from a reader who asked, what's the best way to organize all the files and folders that you may have in your Google Drive account? And it's a great question. Uh, I actually have quite a bit in my account. And here are the five principles that I use to kind of better organize things. And this works for me. It may not work for you. But let me just describe what they are. So the first thing that I usually do for the files that I create is I give them a human readable name. Here's an example here. SF11 update summer 2022. Adrian College List. City Clerk Niagara Falls. Uh, Wallace Desert January 2022. And there's a couple reasons to do this. One is that if I'm browsing the most recently created folders at the top of the screen like this, or maybe in Google Docs, if I'm browsing them, I can instantly tell what's inside. So that's one reason to do it that way. The other reason to do this is when you start using keywords, human readable keywords inside the file names, it makes searching for them later on much easier. And let me give you an example. So this one says City, City Clerk Niagara Falls. Okay, and let's say that I remember that I created another file that was about Niagara Falls, but I don't exactly remember the name of the file. All I need to do is just put Niagara in the search window up here, and it starts to populate all of the files that have Niagara in the file name, and then also in the document uh, that itself. So this is a really, really useful tool to have by making the files easily searchable. Note that not everything is easily searchable. For instance, this is just an import of some uh, data file that I brought into Sheets, it looks like, and I didn't, I didn't rename it for some reason. Uh, but for many of the files that I use, especially Google Docs, but sometimes the spreadsheet files, and of course Google Slides, I'll give them a human readable name. So that's tip number one. The second thing that I often do, and you can see it in this particular file as well as this one, is I put the month that I created the file in the file name, and that helps if I have similar file names, like this particular file name appears all the time, SF11 update. If I just, if I add the, if I append the, the date or the season or the month into the file name itself, if I'm looking at a list of similarly named files, I can instantly tell kind of which one is most recent or, oh, uh, you know, I need to find the one from fall 2019. And where is it? So just by looking at the name, I can easily find that. So that's a very helpful thing to do as well. Tip number three, folder level organization. Now this is a little difficult because when you create a file in Google Docs or Sheets or Slides, it doesn't automatically put it in a folder. So later on, you may need to drag it to a folder. But the the uh, benef there are several benefits for having folders for your files. And one reason is it makes it a lot easier to share them. Just if you want to keep a certain group of files with a certain group of people, like let's say that um, holiday 2018. I just want to share those with family members. So I can set up the sharing permissions for that folder that affects all the photos and other files that are in that folder just with those people. And conversely, if I have another folder here, like the SF, SF Evan alumni, so if I want to just share it with my classmates, I can do that. So that makes it really, really easy to kind of control your sharing permissions. The other thing that you can do, if you want, is you can take a folder, like this one, and you can drag it into another folder. So let's say that I wanted to share um, you know, these three, or Lean Media, I wanted to share these two folders with my with my uh, fellow alumni, I could just drag drag the folder right into the SF11 alumni folder and then drag the other one, the Lean Media Production, Rick, into the same folder, and then I could just share that with them. So that's one reason to do it. The other reason why it's very helpful to do the folder level organization is deleting content. And if you see on the left here, it says 13 gigabytes of 15 gigabytes used. So I'm rapidly running out of storage, and what I might do if I want to make some space is just start deleting folders that I'm no longer going to use like holiday 2018 photos that's near that's four years ago so if I just want to delete that to make some space I could I could do that and it's much easier if it's at the folder level than at the file level and finally a one last tip for organizing your Google Drive information files and folders I always recommend if you're going to be sharing documents with other people in a folder, it's better that you create the folder first rather than the other person. And like, let's say that you know I'm talking with my uh, with my cousin, and I say, "Oh yeah, uh, we should uh, we should put some f uh, photos from the holidays in this folder, and then we can share it that way." I really recommend that you create the folder first 
rather than your cousin. And the reason is, is you'll have more control over it later on. I think having having control over the uh, folders and files, it's not just a control thing. It actually makes it easier to administer later on, especially let's say that your cousin's not really technologically savvy or maybe, um, you know, maybe we'll forget about it later on or something like that. If you have control over that, for instance, who can share, um, if you want to remove people from the folder or if you want to delete it, you can have control over that um, rather than other people who maybe you're not so sure if they're, if they're so uh, savvy about keeping track of that type of thing. So I hope that these tips for organizing Google Drive uh, files and folders helped you out. I've written a book about Google Drive and Docs and sheets and slides and forms and many other tools. It's called Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. You can get it on Amazon, or if you go to in30minutes.biz or in30minutes.com, you can find it there. This is Ian Lamont signing off. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it and follow me. I have new videos every week, and thank you so much for watching.